I bring to you some of the most awesome women around the country along with a doctor to discuss the most important issues surrounding women's health today. With months in the making and May being Women's Health Month recognized by the National Cervical Cancer Coalition, I've asked women who are listeners of the podcast, what types of issues would you like to know more about related to your health? Introducing the starting five for Women's Health Month, No Politics Podcast Edition, let's do it. We start off first with Melissa Stockwell. Talk about a badass woman here. Let me run you through this resume real quick. The first woman to lose a limb in the Iraq war as a US Army officer back in 2004, receiving the Purple Heart and Bronze Star. She then went on to become a Paralympic triathlete, co-founded a prosthetics and orthotics company to enhance the lives of people with limb impairments, she authored her own book detailing these experiences called The Power of Choice and most importantly, is also a mama bear of two. So here's a sneak peek. So I've done three Paralympic games in Beijing, Rio and Tokyo and I'm training for my fourth one in Paris in 2024, which- Now the second episode of Women's Health Month is all about fertility and infertility. Reproductive endocrinologist Dr. Alan Berkeley joins a podcast to first off define what infertility exactly is and what symptoms would someone need to have in order to be classified as experiencing infertility. We also chat about the causes of miscarriages and possible treatment options to treat infertility like in vitro and embryo freezing. We also take a dive to explore the newest developments in what is being called genetic diagnosis of embryos, which is a rapidly developing field. So here's a quick look. The number one cause of miscarriage at any age is chromosomal abnormality of the pregnancy. Hmm. It's just that the percentage of miscarriages that are chromosomally abnormal gets higher as a woman gets older. Probably by the time a woman is 40, if she has a miscarriage, 80 to 90% of the time, it's because the tissue was chromosomally abnormal. If you think about it, it's nature's way of protecting her against an abnormal pregnancy. Now it's virtually impossible to chat about women's health without discussing things like fertility and other reproductive components. And when I asked you, my adored women listeners of the podcast, what topics are most important to you in your health? You responded predominantly with having a guest on regarding fertility and reproductive rights, which is also AKA abortion, which is also AKA putting the podcast host of No Politics in a very delicate situation. So thank you. <laughs> but I will not shy away from speaking on an important issue if it is one. And it is. But obviously, needing to be careful to not turn an episode into what you would see when you turn on cable news shows. So I spent quite some time to see if I could find someone or an organization that I could speak with on this, and I did. It was an absolutely amazing episode with Lisa Rowe. CEO of the nonprofit called Support After Abortion, whose main goal is to provide emotional support to women and also to men who are seeking healing from experiencing an abortion. And after learning that one out of four women under the age of 45 have had an abortion in their lifetime, I am really glad that we had this conversation as there are also no personal opinions portrayed on abortion in this episode. So here's a sneak peek. And the reality is what we're learning from women is that they're seeking a man that takes leadership and ownership and says, I want to parent this child, yet women aren't mm -hmm. feeling safe enough to do that with their partners. And so we have this like silent game of 
like no communication happening where yeah. I'm assuming this and you're assuming that. Now going from the physical health component to women's mental and spiritual health side here, I bring on Jolie Glassman, owner of the legendary South Beach Boxing Gym located in Miami, Florida, as she is also a life coach, author, and wellness expert. She also helps to define what women's health exactly is. We captured so many relatable approaches to life through discussing the role of meditation can play, along with a few philosophical thoughts. And if Mike Tyson is in her corner, you should probably be too. So here's a sneak peek. And that is opposite of women's health. Yeah. <laughs> that is the opposite. The key to women's health is alignment, aligning yourself with your best self, fully self-expressed, honoring yourself, honoring your own power, owning your own power and being kind. You know, it's coming from a place of love at all times. Now what's Women's Health Month without a little dating advice and romantic kinship? We stop over and speak with Corinna Alexander, women's dating and relationship coach and author of the book, A Women's Guide to Understanding Men, Dating Secrets Most Women Don't Know. Corinna and I discuss a wide range of dating topics and she gives her insight into the strategies that women should be taking that could help expedite their search for Mr. Right. So here's a sneak peek. Number one, even if he really does like you, you're, he just gets complacent. So he he won't probably ask you to marry him right away. Why? Why? He has everything he needs that already. But also sometimes it, it's not the right guy and he's just using you. So the way to find out really is to kind of pull back. So look out for these episodes, leave a comment or send a message on what you thought and what issues you would also like to see me cover as well. Coming the following month, I'm back to my normal schedule of podcasting. So if there are any issues you would like for me to delve into and highlight a little bit further, send me a message, subscribe, and I will see you then.